leaves now, so I don't have it that often. Um, also, females are likely to get it um, more or any back troubles related to, obviously, their, their time of the month because um, females are also dealing with the pain body of the feminine archetype and the planet Earth and Mother Earth. So there's a lot of stuff going on there, but, but that's another subject, really. But these, these beings, if you like, started connecting with me then, and I started to have a number of series of memories um, about my, my first uh, life on Earth. I, I, I did the usual that sometimes we go through past lives and things come back and I remembered about six or seven past lives that I had on earth um, and it was actually when I was um, scrying with a, a crystal skull um, and I just asked I said okay show me my first life and I remember being on my home planet and and, and asking or saying I wanted to come and assist with this earth project and um, I remember the beings on, on my planet or how we were very etheric and we actually used to use sound to heal uh, each other's body parts and to heal not necessarily the body parts but the aura and the energetic vibration if we became out of sync. So one day I did this crying, I remembered all this stuff and I was crying because I finally remembered that I got trapped in, like probably many of us, when, when we came to Earth and the project was all, you know, going ahead and it was great and then all of a sudden this diversion occurred where we're aware of um certain other beings that um changed our plan if you like and then we start getting to things about the new world order but when this ha this occurred um many of us were unable to leave um as far as i'm aware anyway in my truth the earth grid or come out of the earth but the original plan as far as i was aware that i was going to be able to move back to my dimension freely and be on earth but I remembered being, this deep emotions came out when I remembered actually that was it. I could no longer move. And I had a life that lasted, obviously our cellular memory was different then, but I had a life that lasted uh, about 1,500 years um, from Atlantis, then moving to Egypt um, to teach and to retain some of the truth that, that we needed to. Because um, we were aware by then we were going into the, um, the darker um, stages. But basically, yeah, I remember then the next life I had, I never fully remembered everything. And every life after then, I've never fully remembered until this life. Um, and this sound healing just came to me as part of my path. And one day when I let out these sounds, I suddenly realized, oh, that's what my voice is for. Because I'd been going on at the universe, you know, I was saying to the universe, why is my voice getting better and better? I'm not doing anything. And uh, I just heard, oh, sound healing. And then I, someone gave me a book and Tom Kenyon's work was in there. And I was ready to go with this already, but I just needed a template. And what he gave me was a template to, to basically, he, his teachings are so like what we did on our planet. You sing to an organ or if someone is in distress, you mirror that sound. You bring that sound out of them and it's the most moving experience. Well, sound creates the vibrations, isn't it? It's like the mm. harmonics of the universe. I mean, I, I've heard you do the, the sound healing you know, live, mm -hmm. and mm. it's very, very powerful. I mean, we, we're gonna, you're gonna do some of this at the end of the show, and yeah. um, I, you know, I hope that people get a feel of what it's like. But you know, but when you're mm -hmm. sitting there listening to it, feeling yeah. it, it's incredible. Mm. Yeah, it's. Um, I feel blessed. It just is another one of those things that when you move into who you are. I mean, I'm not saying I make it sound like it's all really easy, and uh, but. It, um, there's parts of me that first of all thought, uh, you know, am I, re am I really doing this? Because um, it was just very natural, so natural that, say, for example, often when I'm very relaxed and I'll be sitting and I'll just be making sounds, what will happen is clairvoyantly, um, I'll be in, a, I'll have my eyes closed uh, for trance mediums out there or people that do trance work, they'll understand that you go into a trance and the energy prepares itself or you prepare yourself before you go in and so forth. Uh, and then what will happen is clairvoyantly um, a being or an entity or a vibration will come to me and then I will sort of be aware of that before the sound comes. And it's like nanoseconds really before I allow my, myself to then be a channel for it. And that's all it is really. It's just allowing my voice with my range, which is um, quite, you know, extensive, to be able to, to channel those sounds. And what happens is those vibrations obviously the feeling say for example if you're channeling the archangels or um jesus they're often what happens is there's a profound effect it's a healing effect to the audience because obviously intention comes through that everything comes through with that sound and with sound healing you can 
realign your energy field and that's what it seeks to do. Uh, if there's something out of alignment, it seeks to, you know, raise your vibration and to move you back into a healthier state of being. But so far, um, many of the beings that have come to me are Jesus, um, lots of the archangels, Mother Earth, and I've actually channeled an inf uh, a kind of dialogue between Mother Earth, the Sun, and the Palladians. And it's, for some reason, it reminds me of almost like this Morse code, you know, with, say, the crop circles. Mm. It was kind of like that. It was like, oh, I'm, I was kind of listening in and being aware that there was some dialogue going on between me, like as if I was a radio station. Uh, also, there's been, because I personally call on in my life, Ganesh and Lakshmi, the Indian gods and goddesses, they come through, which is fascinating. It's a completely different sound. Um, there's some Mayan ancestors that I feel particularly um, close to and um, feel that in other lives or definitely toward the beginning of earth I had connection with um, there are also um, some Navajo um, beings that come through yep. it's just fascinating and, and I do I really do channel I just go with yeah, it's the same as I do my meditations. I just channel it. I just let it happen. A couple of weeks ago, we spoke. You told me.